When getting started in retail, it's important to educate not only your consumer, but also the retailer about your product. Because at the end of the day, ideally, you'd want somebody in the store selling your product like you would sell it if you were selling at a weekend fair. So product education um, and retailer education is really a step that a lot of people miss, but you should be focusing on before you get to that step. So to prepare for it. Um, the best way to prepare for it is to take that consumer education that you've already put together, why your product is better, how it's made, where the ingredients were sourced from, why they should pick your product over somebody else and what problem it solves. Take all of that, take the consumer information and then kind of change it a little bit as to how to sell the product and then you can use that to educate the retailers so where it was sourced that's an important uh, step you know why somebody should pick that up over it you know do a side by side and saying what this offers that the competitor doesn't and at the end of the day what questions somebody is going to be asking when they should be directed to pick up your product. So if you have a better plunger, you know, coming in, if they're, you know, covered in toilet water, that's a perfect example of when they should be brought to your plunger. But, you know, knowing on the front end how to educate your retailer on the product and how to convey the best way that your product is better and solves their customers' problems is what you want to focus on when putting that information together. The next is how to deliver it to that retailer. So when they purchase a product initially, um, they might put it on consignment, they might put it in the front of the store to give you some exposure. Um, that's a great time to start asking for how you can help um, with that retailer to sell units. So a lot of people, they do road shows. Um, they put promotional people into the works. You know, they do tastings. They do things like that to get people to expose um, themselves to the product. So tastings are great. They don't work as a scalable business model as far as educating um you know, on mass because they're so expensive. You know, you're not going to net profit when you do a tasting, but it's a good way to get people exposed. And it's a great way when you're bringing the product into the store to sell it into the retailer. Say, listen, I'd like to uh, bring this product in here. Uh, I know you have five other energy drinks that you're already selling. Um, what I'd like to do is I'd like to do, you know, three weekends of tastings where I'm going to bring promotional people in. They're going to get people hyped up. They're going to do a tasting. You know, it'll look like a lot of activity and it'll create some buzz. And from that, you might be able to get an account or get an opportunity to get the account. Uh, next is going to be to educate the people in the store that are going to be selling the product. So, um, going into the store, doing a seminar hit or miss uh whether they'll they'll allow for that uh with their employees time but also you know standing there for a day or two when you first launch the product in the store and meeting the people that work there talking to them about the product telling them why it's important why it's better than the competitor and why they should be directing people to your product because if you get started on the right foot it's a lot easier to grow than to you know put a product out there and then learn along the way that you really should have been pumping it up because you might have the best product in the world, but if nobody knows about it, it's not going to move off the shelf. So to get the information out there, you have to tell people what they don't know. And the only way to do that most of the time is by being there physically and getting them to pick up the product.